Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for coming by. Today we are doing a flat twist lookalike using the needle and thread technique. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, and today I'm doing it on a very loose texture. She's got type 3 hair and she's got a lot of hair, guys. So the plan was to do some twists at the back, like some two-strand twists at the back and unraveling them. But we didn't have enough time because we're doing this at Dropped and it was a live. Uh, some of you guys saw the live on YouTube, maybe. I think I did another live on YouTube, but this is the edited version, obviously a shorter version of the long live one. Yeah, so we did this at Dropped and I was doing this with Simi Wolf, which is Simone, and she has got her own YouTube channel, guys. So I'm going to give you the link in the description box below so that you can also check her channel out. Okay, all right. She also does hair, she does makeup, she does lifestyle. So make sure that you check it out and also subscribe to the channel. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification button so that you don't miss any of the videos that I put out on this channel. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm doing the front sections and I'm doing cornrows in between the bigger sections that I am going to do the needle and thread flat twist look alike. I find that it just comes out neater this way. <laughs> yep. For the front, I'm just applying some gel there and then just making sure that the hair is as detangled as possible before I put in the thread. It makes my life so much easier that way. So yeah, and I'm using today, I'm using the back of the needle so that uh, I can just show you another way of doing it because you can also just use the back of a needle. Actually, when we were growing up, we didn't have access to these big needles. So we used to use the small sewing needle, not too small, but yeah, it was quite a small sewing needle and we had to use the back of the needle so that there is no one who is going to get hurt from this hairstyle. So that's basically what I'm doing. I put the other end of the thread inside the hair and then covered it and then started putting the needle in from one side of the section to the other and then the thread creates a loop and that's what holds the hair down. And then when I finish, I just cut the thread not too short so that I can hide it well into the hair and then twist over it. And then that's done. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me show you again on this side. Filming angles were a little bit limited, but yeah, let me show you again on this side. I enjoyed doing this here guys it was it was quite nice actually and i'm sure we are going to be doing a lot more things with simon and yeah i'll put her socials as well in the description box below so that you can go watch her she's amazing like so so amazing and she does very cool stuff <laughs> so as you can see we we're talking throughout the hairstyle like throughout the the session Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next video. God bless you. Bye. Bye.